Yo, what's going on everybody, and welcome to another Forza Horizon 5 video. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you all everything I wish I knew from day one when I first bought the game. In this video, I'm going to rapid fire 8 tips for any new player. Without further ado, let's hop right into the video. Forza Horizon 5 has the largest map put into any Forza game. With a map this size, fast travel is extremely useful. You can unlock this by purchasing the Buenas Vistas house. This house is located on the west coast of the map. The really unfortunate thing with fast travel is that it costs 10,000 credits. Alright, even though fast travel costs 10,000 credits, you can drive around the map and hit these bonus boards that slowly bring down the amount of credits that it costs to fast travel. Okay, fast travel is expensive, but what if you want to do it for free and you don't want to hit all of those fast travel bonus boards? Well, you can fast travel to the festival site for free. It doesn't matter how many boards you've smashed, nor does it matter that you've purchased or not purchased the Buenas Vistas house. To fast travel to the festival for free, open the menu, Go over to the cars page and click buy new slash used car. You will fast travel back to the festival for free. Now I'm going to show you all how to buy a car for cheaper. So first you're going to want to go to the auto show and look at the car price for the car that you want. Now go to the auction house and look for this car most often, it'll cost less than it cost in the auto show. Just compare the prices and choose the one that costs less. Okay, now that we're in the auction house, I'm going to show you guys a really cool hack. So, once you're on the car that you think you want to buy, look over at the image of the car. You will see a tuner status and who has tuned it. This typically means the car has upgrades applied to it. If you buy this car, all of the upgrades that have been bought by the previous owner will still be on the car for free. You don't have to buy or spend any credits upgrading it, which is pretty awesome. Okay, now let's talk about upgrading a car. When upgrading to a certain class, I always find myself all-wheel drive swapping first. I find this to be the best upgrade, especially when you're dealing with a rear wheel or front wheel drive car. After the all wheel drive upgrade and I still have room left to get to the class that I want, I typically go for horsepower. After horsepower, I then go to weight and from there I move to suspension. The reason that I choose all wheel drive first is because I hate spinning in a high horsepower rear wheel drive car. First, I deal with my traction issues, and then I'll add power. And once I have all of the traction issues dealt with, and all the horsepower that I need, then I will reduce weight and do some suspension modifications. Okay, so if you don't really care about competitive racing, nor really care about what class your car is, you can actually change engine sound. It's really cool. You can rev your car while upgrading it and messing with engine parts, and you will notice that your car engine sound changes. It's so cool, you should all give it a go. It'll really add to your Forza Horizon 5 experience, because this is the first Horizon game where you can change and hear engine sound differences. Buy clothing items. There is nothing worse than getting a wheel spin and you get a clothing item. I feel like nobody wants a clothing item, especially when you can get money or a car instead. So, in order to combat all of the clothing items that you will eventually get, you want to buy clothing items. I know it's going to be a lot of credits, but it's going to save you a huge headache when you're doing wheel spins. I find myself hardly getting any clothes now because I have bought in all of the clothes that I was able to. The last thing that you are going to want to do is drive manual with clutch. 
one of the coolest things that you get to do is rev your car while you're moving. It's pretty awesome. Also, if you race your car with the manual with clutch, you get a credit bonus, which is also pretty cool, especially if you're like me and choose to do 50 laps of Goliath with manual with clutch. In case you're wondering, that's eight hours of racing with manual with clutch. It was so worth it in the end because I got an obscene amount of credits because of this. Well guys, that's the end of the video. Thank you all so much for watching, and if you're new to Forza, I hope you stick around, subscribe, and like some of these videos. Good luck on your Forza journey, have a nice day.